Good afternoon, my friends. Well, I'm parked outside Silvan in Helsingør because uh, Bo and I have been shopping. We have been buying stuff for the van. You see, there's flooring and some underflooring material and a piece of wood for something, a battery box. And there's uh, there's actually a dresser down there I bought in Ikea a couple of days ago. And then here next to me is some other materials that I need to use. Let's go back to Bo's place and uh, put a floor in this thing. For now, job done installing the batteries and all the electrical. You see here on the floor is my inverter. The fridge is connected to it right now. And then I have three batteries, 100 amp hour each, connected to each other. And of course, there the wire go under the driver's seat and into the starter batteries. And of course, I have a splitter connected here so that I don't drain the driver's batteries because the driver or the starter batteries they are only uh, 75 amp hour each but there's two of them and of course as I said my host batteries here are 100 amp hour each so now I got five batteries in this car that's insane and of course over here my meter that shows that uh, Ah oh, well, you can't see anything on the video because it's LED so it's flashing. But uh, I saw, I had the engine started and it was charging with more than I ever charged in the Raven. How much was it? It was charging... 13 point... Uh, uh, 14 no, four, four, four. point something. 14.7, yeah. yeah. 14.7 and that's like never charged that much on these batteries because the the generator in the raven was kind of tired but yeah here next to is a piece of wood that i'm gonna use for my table i'm gonna change this table from plastic to wood but i need to oil it and then next to that is some laminate floor that i'll put all over the floor in here That'll be for tomorrow. And also I will build a box. I have a here a piece of, well, it's actually a piece of laminate that I will make a box around the batteries and the inverter. Obviously I will need to make so that I can still turn the inverter on and off. And also over here was a pack of underflooring for the laminate floor that I need to put down so I still have a lot of work to do but not today I'm tired don't want to work anymore today so the flooring will be as for tomorrow first of all tomorrow though I will have to make the box for the batteries and also the the battery box will be the what you call it for the fridge to stand on I think or maybe I should just leave the fridge where it is. It's okay there. Yeah. I guess if if it's on the floor, it doesn't fall down. Yeah. And you don't have to uh, to change it. No, not really. Hmm. Might just leave it where it is. I have to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I will make a box around the the batteries, uh, and also with the lid, so that it's. Uh, closed off because now all the connections are very visible and yeah speaking of the connections all these connectors almost all of them they're made of copper pipe i did it this way because i feel these these here over time they loosen and then you got bad connections but the homemade ones made from copper pipe they never loosen because they're much thicker material. It's a hassle to make them, but you only have to worry about it once. Then they will stay like that forever. So, uh, 
So that's, uh, it was actually one of my friends in, it was Dan in, in uh, Holland who showed me that idea. And right now Bo is putting a piece of wood that we're gonna use for the box. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll get back to you guys next time I make something. Så bare se, så tager vi her og hælder her over os der, så kan du se det hul der, der er lavet der. Ja. Yeah. Morning, my friends. Well, I have a cameraman today. We are, yeah, first we made the hole for the sink in what's going to be my kitchen. And uh, then we cut pieces here for uh, the battery box. And this here is gonna be my table instead of the plastic table that's in the bus right now. So uh, I'm gonna keep the leg from that table, but I'm just gonna make a new uh, top for it because that plastic is horrible. Warning of loud noise. Good afternoon my friends well here you see my kitchen obviously it's not finished I still have to uh, get the tap mounted you see now it's just lying here and the switch for the water pump need to be mounted as well but before I can mount the tap I need to buy some more uh, some more copper piping but uh, yeah this is the kitchen and of course I have put bungees so that the drawers don't come open when I drive. In the back of the well the van happened something too. You see the bed before I had the folding the end I've changed that so it's detachable. So now it's put next to the bed uh, and I'm gonna get a trifold mattress that I will put on top of that and uh, then it can be used as a chair but it's also um, when it's put down here at the end it's then the bed is long enough for me to sleep in and the trifold mattress can be put on the floor so that Dina can sleep there this summer when she come and join me. Then I've changed the table. You see, I, t I changed the tabletop from that plastic thing to uh, to a, a wooden tabletop. And then I'll just put it up. Now you see the, the part of the table is hanging down. Just give me a second. Like that, then it's folded up. That means that someone can sit on the bed and eat using that part of the table but also when I have the laptop on the table I can use this part for my uh, computer mouse. Then you see the the bed I made so that I pull the mattress backwards when I'm not sleeping that means I can sit and lean on the on the wheelchair lift there and then I have a very great view out through the windows when I sit there with my legs up. We made a box for the batteries so they're inside this box. At the same time that box is used for the fridge to stand on and the fridge is actually screwed into that bo uh, box. It's uh, screwed on so it's not falling down. There's two screws holding it. So, uh, And here you can see the kitchen with the bungees to hold the drawers closed. I think I got a great uh, setup here now. I did not have time to put the floor. So the floor we will put maybe next weekend. But uh, for now, I would say furniture wise, I'm there. Um, obviously right next to me, these crates I'm going back to the campground today uh, 
just to drop off some stuff and these crates. and these crates are among the things that I'm gonna drop off at the uh, uh, campground I don't need to bring them so I will drop them off down there oh. this is my workspace and the spa place where I sit and eat and the kitchen and I'm sitting in the bed so I'm pretty uh, pretty happy about this setup it'll work I think that's it for this video it's been dragging on for quite a while. I hope you guys are feeling well. I hope you have a good time. You guys take care. And remember, life is good. Bye-bye.